Since the unilateral declaration of independence by the Serbian province of Kosovo on February the 17th, the international community has been divided, with many like the US, the UK, France, Germany and others giving Kosovo almost immediate recognition, while others, starting with Serbia itself, Russia, China and even Spain and Greece, calling it illegal under international law. Many other questions have also arisen, such as what is a nation, do nations have a right to self-determination, and when can a nation declare independence? We spoke to Steven Zunas, Professor of Politics and International Studies at the University of San Francisco. Are the Kosovars a nation? Yes, in the sense that they identify as such, 90% of them uh, uh, support the idea of an independent nation state. Uh, they never asked to be part of Serbia back in 1912, and they have you know, struggled for many years for independence. At the same time, uh, this is, it is not one of the con six constituent republics of the old uh, Yugoslavia, which had the right to uh, to uh, secede. Uh, this is part of Serbia itself, and uh, as a result, there are some uh, uh, legal questions. Now, I should quickly add, there are situations where a country may have a moral right, uh, such as Tibet, uh, though they don't have it, they don't have the, uh, strictly speaking, uh, a, a clear legal right. But this is definitely a rather ambiguous kind of uh, situation, and that's why it's so ironic that you have these Western nations that have refused to support, uh, say, Western Sahara's right to an independent uh, nation state, even though that is clearly an occupied territory, which according to the World Court and Security Council has the right to to, uh, uh, to self-determination, to independence. In fact, France and the United States have quite openly been supporting Morocco's plans to annex the territory as an autonomous region of Morocco. And, and, and given that they say, no, uh, Western Sahara can't do that, but Kosovo can, even though their legal case is a lot weaker, I think it indicates that the decision to recognize Kosovo is much more a political decision uh, rather than a, a, a legally or morally based one. Do nations have a right to self-determination? In principle, yes. This indeed has been a principle of international law you know, since uh, the uh, Woodrow Wilson you know, pushed this idea at the uh, Versailles Conference uh, back in 1919. It became codified to, to some degree uh, with the establishment of the United Nations. However, it, there's also this the principle of territorial integrity uh, of countries. So generally, there's a right of self-determination of what the United Nations recognizes or, or, or the International Court of Justice or some other uh, international body sees as a non-self-governing territory. That would include the all the various uh, colonies of the European powers uh, and, and include uh, countries that are under seen as being under foreign military occupation, uh, so, you know, such as uh, uh, Palestine, Western Sahara. But if it's, like, uh, if it's a nation, even if they identify as a nation within the internationally recognized borders of, a nation, uh, of another nation state, uh, there it becomes uh, a lot more questionable. When is a nation allowed to make a unilateral declaration of independence then? It's hard to say you know, when, a, when a country should be allowed. Uh, there are a number of arguments in, in addition to the, to the legal ones uh, I just, just mentioned. It would depend on the, uh, the, the perspectives of the people themselves. In this case, they're overwhelmingly in support. Of, of independence. Some people would argue issues of viability. They point to the, the fact that the Kosovars uh, um, have a 40% unemployment rate and uh, they're very dependent on, on, uh, on the West and foreign aid. But you could say that you know, about a number of um, full member states of the United Nations. The situation, I think, is um, somewhat murky. They have set up alternative institutions. In fact, they had a uh, parallel government running during the 1990s. This is not the first time they declared independence, actually. The uh, problem is, and this should be another factor, frankly, is what's the nature of the leadership of this uh, uh, of, of a new state? The, uh, the independently declared Kosovo nation state in the 1990s, which did not get Western support, was uh, led, led by uh, Ibrahim Rogova and others who were far more democratic and pluralistic in orientation and used Gandhian-style nonviolence to resist the uh, Serb control, whereas the people in charge now are, are these hardline uh, militants affiliated with the Kosovo Liberation Army, which has been responsible for atrocities against the Serb minority and the like. 
And so that perhaps should be a, a factor cons uh, to take into consideration as well. It, it's, it's quite ironic that the uh, West uh, chose to ignore the uh, plight of the Kosovo Albanians when they were struggling nonviolently and only came to their assistance when they uh, took up arms under this, frankly, uh, chauvinistic kind of group. It's just the wrong kind of message the West should be giving, in my view, to those that are, are struggling for self-determination. And why wasn't it recognized in 1990 by anybody in, in the West? It's hard to say. At that point, there was a fair amount of appeasement of, uh, of uh, Serbia and Milosevic. Uh, the Dayton Accords, many people had hoped, would, in addition to uh, stopping Serbian repression in, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, would also uh, end the oppression in Kosovo. But apparently, uh, Richard Holbrook and the other uh, Americans who were leading this uh, peace process decided it wasn't that important and that it was that we needed to actually strengthen Milosevic because at that time he was seen as a peacemaker. So I think it had a lot to do with appeasing the uh, uh, Serbian regime uh, at that time. And whereas, uh, ironically, now that Serbia is under a democratic uh, government uh, led by those who want better relations uh, with the West, that want to be part of the EU in the not-too-distant future, that by throwing our weight to support Kosovo independence now, it is actually encouraging the very hardline nationalists uh, that the uh, people of Serbia threw out in their nonviolent uprising in October 2000. And the U.S. is, in, uh, by, by doing this, and the other Western nations are encouraging the very hardline uh, Serbian nationalists that were responsible for uh, such a human catastrophe uh, in the former Yugoslavia during the 1990s.